Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. 15 years after the groundbreaking musical Spring Awakening took Broadway by storm, the cast and creatives reunited for a one night only concert to benefit the Actors Fund. Now on May 3rd, the new documentary called Spring Awakening, Those You've Known, will debut on HBO and HBO Max. It chronicles the evening and the creation of the musical. And I caught up with the cast and creatives at the New York premiere. Well, first of all, the New York premiere, how do you three feel tonight? I call you the Three Musketeers because I knew you from that, the very early days. How does it feel tonight? I love the Three Musketeers. This feels incredible. I mean, John and I were just saying, like, this feels like we're in a dream. Like, I can't believe we're on a carpet with the word Spring Awakening behind us. Like, this is so wild. But really, we owe this all to Jonathan and Lauren Pritchard, who put this all together, who worked so hard, who not only performed and did the show, but they made this all happen, and Radical Media for being so incredible and making this beautiful documentary. This is so surreal. I mean, it is it is completely surreal. I mean, it was a miracle that we got the entire original cast to come on November 15th to perform the show, <laughs> and now everybody is here again. Like, a several months later, I'm still, I'm in shock. I'm in a state of shock. Yeah, it's entirely surreal. You know, I uh, that that I, I remember like a few months before the reunion show, we all got on a Zoom together, and Lauren and Jonathan were like, "Yeah, we want to try and do this show." And I remember thinking like, "Oh, well, good luck." You know, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we we're going to be like able COVID, to come together. Was, you know. Will we be even able? Will we be allowed to get on stage right. at a theater? And so every single step of the process has been very dreamlike and so surprising um, and so fast. You know, I, it, it, it was, you know, less than a year ago that, that the ball really got rolling. So the fact that we're here premiering a documentary that, you know, the world's going to be able to have an opportunity to see is, is really stunning. Oh, my God. I'm going to... You're making me cry. This is one of the finest documentaries ever made on the theater. I've seen them all. Oh, and like wow. I said, I'm seriously... The cameras were so unintrusive to all of you. Mm. The first time you saw it, you two saw it together. You three, you three yeah, saw it together. saw it together. What was that evening like? Uh, oh my God, it was honestly, I'm not even just, it was really one of the best nights of my yeah. entire life. <laughs> Getting to sit with these two men that are more than brothers, more than friends, they're my family, and I have so much fun with them. And we watched this documentary that means so much to us, shared a lovely meal together afterwards, and it's like, I, I can't think of a, of, a, of a more perfect, perfect evening, truly. I mean, I just cried the whole time. It was like, it was just, <laughs> it was so emotional to watch together. Um, Here he goes. No, I'm not, I'm gonna pull together. <laughs> No, I should have. I should have. Um, yeah, I feel like we we were. It was all happening so fast when we made when we were interviewed for the documentary. The cameras were there. Gallagher said they were so like shadows. It's like we didn't notice them. And to see what this team put together, that I mean, we we shared our stories, but the way that they edited the whole thing together and the like genius of how they put the songs with the stories of our lives, with the stories of the show. Oh my God. I mean, theater is life changing, and you really see in this documentary how it. The show not only changed all of our lives, but has this ability to heal and to. There's something so deeply profound about this show that saves lives, and that really comes across in this documentary, which I'm so happy about because the show is so ephemeral and so expressionist. It's hard to really pin down what it is, right. and now I feel like there's finally a record oh. of what it is. You just say, watch the documentary. Yeah. <laughs> That's my good, couldn't say it any better, yeah. Do you remember that first day you were all together, when you were all cast, that first day, going through that first read, yeah. 15 years ago, yeah. what that meant to each of you? I just remember thinking to myself, I hope they want to hang out with me after this at the end of the day. <laughs> like, they're so cool and so talented, and like, I, I hope that they're going to become my best friends. I just remember thinking, I don't know what anyone's going to make of this. I, I, I yeah. thought it was so special. I thought the music was amazing. I'd never heard anything like it. I'd never seen anything like it on a stage. And I just thought, oh, I don't know. I mean, this is a little bit of a shot in the dark as to whether it's going to resonate with people. And that was when we were about to just go do it for 200 people at the Atlantic, let alone where it went after that. Um, I, I, it's, it's hard to even kind of uh, uh, reckon with how far it went, you know. I remember sitting with Lauren Pritchard, actually. We were 
somewhere in the West Village having dinner after we read through the script on like a Friday and we were like, this is going to be huge. We just felt like it was really special. I'm very excited. I can't believe it's been this long since it came out. Um, yeah, I, that's I, that's kind of it. I, I consider myself pretty articulate and that I'm at the moment I'm kind of like, oh, I guess they're already making a documentary about how this happened a while ago. I remember when it came out, it was kind of a huge game changer for dudes like me that uh, I was in bands and I played rock music and I like musical theater, but I don't think my voice or my abilities had any sort of place in popular musical theater. Um, and then the show came out and that kind of changed the conversation. So I also didn't know that I would end up being friends or doing work with any of the people from that show that was so famous that I waited hours in line with a student rush uh, ticket to see when I was, you know, Leah's age. And now you're one of her best friends. Yeah, now we're all, we're all homies. It's a big family. I mean, John and, uh, I mean, God, Gideon and... Uh, uh, both Johns, um, but there's you know it's a lot of people that have been in my life that I'm very grateful for and have always been in awe of. So before you run in, how excited to be back on Broadway again? You just said it. I mean, I, it's it bears no mentioning it. Being back on Broadway is is I'm living the dream, literal dream. I couldn't be happier. It is the New York premiere. How do you feel tonight, Steve? Richie, I can't even express it. My little girl is here, who was like everyone's like you were a little girl now. She's a grown-up human being. It's. Um, we all went through such a spring awakening creating this show, and that's what the documentary documents, is the incredible growth in all our lives through doing the show and to where we are now. It's really remarkable to have this one, Jonathan and Leah and Lily and Lauren, everyone so close, and that we're all still so close. It's amazing. It's a really remarkable night. What was that reunion night like for you, that whole entire evening? It was like being transported backwards and forwards in time at the same time. To think what a mark we made on each other's lives and then what a mark we made on the world and that we're all still determined to keep going. You know, we were, as, as you know, we raised so much money for the Actors Fund to help so many actor, out of work actors. And that our show began with the shootings of Columbine and then here we are in the middle of a pandemic, you know, reviving it for one night was amazing. It was a completely out of body night. Everybody took their bow that night, including yourself. How did you feel? Like, what were you thinking that night? Wow. Um, that we had done it. That against all odds, against all the COVID protocols, that against all the everyone's schedules, that it, we had pulled it off. And that, um, in a way, how remarkable that we put this show into the world and that this show is still done and now means so, the show that they said couldn't, you know, go anywhere. That, was, that every, every naysayer was like, this will never get a, a theater. And here we are, all these years later, with people around the world performing our show. And this is one of the finest documentaries made that I've ever seen on the theater. You've seen the documentary, right? Yes, of course I've seen it. We couldn't get over it. We were at a private screening, um, I guess, two weeks ago, something like that. We were all screaming each other's names, John and Leah, Duncan and John and... Lauren couldn't make it. She was out of town. Was, I, I think it's astonishing. I think it's really beautiful. Again, what we went through, the cauldron of creating it, and then what we've lived through since, and what it means to us to bring it back again. Well, here we are. It is the New York premiere of this one of the finest documentaries. I've been watching theater documentaries for a long time. This just wiped. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. Wow. So, have you got? We haven't seen it. No, no, we haven't seen it. It's our first time. Oh, do you have tissues? No. No. <laughs> oh, I haven't cried in years, though. That's yeah. No, you're, I, gonna, you're gonna cry tonight. Right? I'm excited. Aww. I better. What did this <laughs> night mean to you? I mean, seriously, who would have ever thought that this could have been pulled off during COVID to get the entire cast and creative team together? What was the night like for you? For me, yeah. the reunion concert. <laughs> I mean, I honestly, I thought that I would be, I thought that I'd be more relaxed. But yeah. in the moment when we were actually singing those songs together, I was pretty emotional. Yeah. Like it. it yeah, it, it got to me. So I'm, I'm curious to see what translated to the actual documentary. Things resonated differently, I think, that night than they did when we were doing it because we were so just in it during that crazy whirlwind of a time. And now we've had a lot of space and years apart from it. And then coming back now in my 30s and hearing certain lyrics, it was just it was profound in a different way. Yes, I agree. I think it's also crazy. Music is so nostalgic. It always brings you back to a place, even as a listener. But not only were we listeners, but we were like reenactors. And I thought that whole process was pretty, pretty trippy. Yeah. 
And I remember being in that first press day down at the Atlantic. Get in here, you. Come on in here. We're waiting. Chris stay in here. Hi. We talked about being in the first press uh, interviews that you all did at the Atlantic and then on Broadway and everything else. Which we're going to take you back to like when you first started doing this, what it meant to you early on. Wait, what did you? What are you asking? At the Atlantic, when you first were in that rehearsal room, like, yes. what was that like for you then? Honestly, it's very funny because we were so young that it kind of just felt like we were doing the thing that we do. Like it didn't have like, it didn't have a, um, a, a, a yeah, weight or a precedent to it. So we just kind of felt like we were just young kids fooling around. Yeah. We grew up doing, we yeah. yeah, we grew up doing theater, and honestly, I, a lot of people were telling us, a lot of like theater legends were coming up to us after the show being like, you will not understand the gravity of what you're doing for maybe 15, 20, 10 years or whatever, and now here we are. I think we, we do understand its, its impact. I remember seeing the show at the Atlantic, mm -hmm. and I did not know like a few months later that I would be in it, so that was pretty trippy. Yeah, me. same, same. I saw it kind of not knowing what I was getting into, and I left just like floating on air, being like, I got to be involved in this somehow. I'll, I'll sweep the stage if they let me, and here we are. But you did more than that. Sweeping the stage. <laughs> so I'm going to go to work. Uh, thank you. Oh, we got to add Lily into this, too, because Lily. I'm also here. What is it like just being together with everybody? It's okay. No, it's really fun. I was actually dancing behind the camera before I stepped on. So we're all friends. Like in real life, it's crazy. But you know, you've all done shows that you moved on to the next one, but there's something very special about Spring Awakening because you guys have stayed connected through the entire journey, haven't you? We stay connected. All that. Oh yes, yes. We never. I, I don't think we ever didn't. We were always in touch. Yeah. yeah. The group chat is strong. You know, and grow. We, we go, yeah, and, and it's, it's just such a significant time for all of us. It was our first big thing, and it's, it'll always be the one. Aww. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> no, it's that kind of Krista? thing where, like, it's like family. Like, you see someone at a party for some other random thing, and you're like, oh, it's, it's like you just understand yeah. something about each other after doing the show together, I feel like. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's like an unspoken connection. Together. Right. Yeah, yeah we yeah. kind of grew up together in a way. And so that, that's like another yeah. element of being family. We hate and love each other. <laughs> oh, I have no hate for you. Well, I also do want to point Wait, something out. The, 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 everyone always talks about how emotional like the, the reunion was, but honestly, you and I were laughing the entire I week. I don't I, think I've ever laughed that much before. I, I, it like, was I hurt. wild. I, I hurt from it like... It was wild. Yeah. And we were like, we were friends back then, yeah. but I think coming back, it like... We're closer. We exploded. We did. <laughs> Skylar and I got to work together a few yeah. years ago, yes. and I remember our first person being like, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, totally. As, As an adults, adult. totally. Yeah, and like we all got to do that again. We got to meet each other again as We got adults. to reintroduce yeah. ourselves to each other. Yeah. yeah. And your babies. And, and your babies. babies. Yeah. It's all these babies. Now. you got a show to do tonight, yeah, like in 30 go. minutes. Yeah, I kind of got to go. Like my half hour's in like 20 minutes, so I should probably. Jory, I'll see you at your opening. Okay. This is an exciting night. Yeah, it's really a really wonderful night. I mean, this is, this is a story 15 plus years in the making, uh, a landmark musical that touched so many people in so many ways. It's an underdog story uh, of how you, if you persevere and you keep at it and you don't give up uh, and you, you just keep trying, there's a chance that you'll find a way. And this musical, and I think the story of this musical, should hearten in many, many artists around the world who get to see this and who may feel like, should I keep trying? Should I keep going? Um, and when you hear the story that happened to the Spring Awakening musical, it ends in a really tremendous place, but they had their ups and downs. And this crew of people and this team of people who made this musical persevered. And they did a magnificently brilliant job at making something that you know has, has had a lot of impact. We, as Radical Media, we love filming and being part of Broadway. We've had the opportunity to produce and film various Broadway shows over the years. We produced Rent many years ago. We produced Oh Hello on Broadway. Hamilton, the film, and Hamilton, the documentary for PBS, Come From Away, and most importantly, American Utopia with HBO. And you just don't get better partners than HBO. You know, they, they know the importance of this. They know the importance of supporting this kind of art and these kinds of films. And in this case, this is a documentary about Spring Awakening with a lot of the performance in it. Uh, a little bit different than some of the other ones we've done, which is the pure performance. Uh, but I think the story here is so profound. And I think what you learn as a viewer and connects you in such a way to the material. 
and we certainly hope that people will then go out and want to hear it and see it and um, you know and find their own way to it uh, so we're really just pleased and so excited to be part of it and you know when you work on something like this as a as documentary filmmakers you really want to collaborate you want to collaborate with the cast you want to collaborate with the people who you're documenting and there's not a better cast uh, you've seen the documentary and you know how giving and how open they are and that's a matter of trust and we really appreciate that they trusted us with their story and you know we we wanted to honor this incredible work that they've done by bringing it to life for me the the greatest meaning of this entire film is is the story within the play and uh, I keep saying it, but it really means a lot to me. I think the whole, if you distill what Spring Awakening is about, it's you're not alone. There's a lot of people who are marginalized, people who've gone through traumas, um, and a, a whole variety of them. And capturing this on film and getting in to send it out to the world means a lot to me because there's a lot of kids out there who don't know who might be in the closet and hear Jonathan's story, who might have experienced some of the t terrible things, frankly, that happened to a lot of the characters and some of the cast members in the story. And I hope this film finds those people and touches them and helps them understand that you can get through this. You're not alone. Maybe you need to move to New York City. I don't know, but that's, that's what I love so much about this movie. And once I dug into this, this, the, this actual script, and, and of course the songs are beautiful, but when you really dig in, and then when we started getting the interviews with the actors, I was like, this weave in between what the actors went through and what the show's about is gonna be powerful. And, and, I, and you, I'll use your word, you said it's flawless, thank you for that. Um, I think it's pretty good, and I hope that everyone else likes it too. Oh, my God. 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 O